Hello guys, welcome to DeepCodes and in today's video, we will discuss LeetCode question 1011 that says capacity to ship packages within DTS. So here you are given a weights array that represent uh, different weights uh, and you need to ship these weights in this D number of days. Okay, and one thing to note here is that in order given by weights, so each day you have to uh, take some weights in an order. That means that uh, let's say you take uh, two, three, four weight in the day one and you skip the weight uh, this first weight then that is not allowed you need to take weights in an order okay and in the end we need to return the least weight capacity of the ship that will result in the packages of so let me explain you what is least weight capacity so let's say for this first example these are this is the weight side we are given and this is d these are the d number of days so let's say these are there are five days so let's say you ship w1 uh, total weight on day one W2 total weight on day 2, similar W3, W4 and W5. So these are the total weights that you ship in 5 days in order to ship all this weight, correct? So now, in what would be the capacity of our ship? The capacity of our ship would be maximum of all this weight, right? The maximum of all this, what it would be? It would be capacity. And we need to reduce this capacity. I hope you got the question that maximum of all the weights that is shipped uh, for each day is the capacity and we need to reduce that see in ideally if you take all these let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, in let's say in day 1 you take the, take this in day 1 then 8 9 10 in day 2 right but here if you do like this and let's say 0 0 0 in all other days if you do like this then here the capacity would be high this capacity would be what very much high uh, because the total weight traveled on a particular day is greater so we need to reduce that as we saw in the question that we need to uh, get the minimum capacity possible and also the thing is that you cannot take the minimum weight here is one if the minimum weight here is one you cannot take cap equal to one we can't do that why because yet here, here there are restriction of days in the five days we also need to deliver all these packages correct so we need to find some uh, some answer okay uh, that uh, whose cap means we need to find the efficient capacity capacity efficient capacity that will deliver all the ways as well as they it will deliver within five days only correct it, it and that efficient capacity is what it is as minimum as possible okay now but another observation I would like to give you that this cabot can be the minimum value of the capacity see in this weight set uh, uh, let me show you here weight set is something like this one two five two one so forget about the days forget about the days here first just think that what can be the minimum uh, capacity for this what can be the minimum capacity see minimum capacity here would be the largest value five because let's say if you take minimum capacity as one let, let's say if you just took one then will you be able to deliver this package no in that case you can't deliver this package so the capacity so initializing the minimum capacity can be at least five right this the capacity case should be at least five okay correct so this is one observation that you have to make and what can be the maximum capacity maximum capacity would be what sum of all this it is five seven nine ten eleven so eleven right so let's say uh, if you have if you want to deliver all those packages in one day then our answer would be maximum capacity right because sheep has to deliver all this in just one day then the total weight would be the sum of all the weights so uh, they would so our capacity would be maximum capacity and let's say total there are five days so there, there are five different weights and there are five days so in that case what would be our answer our answer would be minimum capacity that is what that is five so so what i'm trying to tell here is that our answer will always lies between these two the minimum capacity one and the maximum capacity got it our answer will ri always rise between this maximum of one of the weight and sum of all the weight. So this is what minimum capacity is what maximum weight. Okay, and this is what sum of weight. Now, according to the given number of days, we need to find our answer. Correct. So yeah, we will find our answer between these two. Okay, so I hope you guys you understood this observation based on that. Uh, so yeah, if you take a look at this first example, so here uh, we got we took our answer as 15. Why 15? Because on a day one, let's say you ship this uh, five weights on day two, this 
day three this day four this and day five this so here what is the maximum weight that to uh, shape in a one day that is 15 that is on the day one correct now if uh, if you try to do something uh, in less than 15 let's say 14 if it is is it possible no and see here you are also shown this answer for the capacity 14 but to shape that 14 you need to misplace this uh, first weight that is of weight one and that is not allowed so this is not allowed so the best possible answer is here 15 if you take a look at this example uh, so these are the given weights and these are the number of days and here the answer is 6 because um, as you can see that um, in 3 days uh, if you want to try shape all this then you have to take this type of combination that is on the first day 3 and 2 second day 2 and 4 and third day 1 and 4 so that's why we written our answer as 6 you can't shape uh, this uh, this all the weights in 3 days with less than 6 capacity got it and similarly this so yeah, uh, based on the observation that we discussed further, that there is a minimum capacity, there is a maximum capacity, and our uh, answer will always lies between two. So now uh, let me also show you one another thing. So let's say we have something like this. Let's say D is equal to four. Four days you have uh, to ship all these weights, correct? Now, in order to ship, uh, means in order to decide what will be the weight one means wait on day one, wait on day two, wait on day three and wait on day four. You have some choices like either to include this, this on day one or this all in day one. Similarly, if you include this all, then this is in day two, right? So here, what you have, you have some choices. And whenever you have choices, then what you can do, you can write a recursive solution. Plus you can memorize it. Right? This is simple as that. Whenever you have choices that what to pick on day one then what to pick on day two, then what on day three so yeah based on the choices you uh, you can write a recursive solution and then memorize it but if you go with this approach then it won't work because the total number of weights here a uh, weights dot length is 10 to the power 4 5 to 10, 10 to the power 4 so these are very large and that's why we need to uh, come with an when with a optimized approach see this solution will take big of n square times complexity and this is not possible we have to do something with big o of n log n or big o of n something like this okay there is lesser than big o of n square see uh, based on the previous approach that we have some something fixed that is the lo lowest possible value okay and and what and the highest possible value these are the fixed right for any given weight added low and high value are fixed this is what this is the range of capacity range of capacity answer okay so now once you have the range what you can do you can try for different possible answers so for any given example let's say one two five two one and let's say d equal to uh let me keep it as two okay for two days so here you what is the range your range is five minimum value and the maximum is sum of all eleven so between 5 and 11 if you need to shape then you can try different possible ways like 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so these are the different possible answers we don't know if 6 is possible or, not, or 7 is possible or not but we just know that uh, nothing is possible uh, bo before 5 and after 11 nothing is possible right this is the range that we know so we need to hop we need to check if 5 uh, let's say we check for 8 if 8 is possible then 7 if 7 is possible then 6 so we need to check we need to check on the right hand side and the left hand side and whenever we need to check in the range of answer then at that time what we do we do binary search binary search on what binary search on answer so this is the approach that will take that we will take to solve this question and how we derive to this approach because we have the range and whenever you have some range like this you need to find some solution what we can do we can do binary search and the, and what is the name of this concept this concept named is binary search on answer right so in binary search on answer what we do we, we have some low and high range we from this low and high we take the mean and we check if it is possible uh, to uh, possible uh, to take mean number of weight so what we what this will check that this will check if it is possible to ship mid weight in d days d days so if it is possible to ship this this uh, mid capacity of weight then we will store answer equal to mid 
and in this in the in the next iteration what we will do we will simply do high equal to mid minus one that means we will get we will try to get for better answer like in binary search we either move to left or right so here we will move to what left in search for better answer because we need to we need to try to reduce this mid that is the maximum capacity we will try to reduce it correct so yeah this is how this binary search on answer will work and we just need to write the code for this is possible function so i hope you guys understood the intuition and uh, the approach for this question how we derive uh, the intuition and based on the intuition what approach we were taking now so our next let's move on to the coding part where we'll understand this in a better way so here as i have already told you we took uh, low and high what is low low is the maximum weight of all the given weights and high is simply the sum of all the weights correct uh, we took one answer variable and uh, we then find this mid right mid is simply the high plus low by 2 but uh, to manage the integer of i2 is this way now this is the helper function that we wrote so this helper function will check that if it is possible to have a capacity maximum capacity is this mid to traverse to tra to shape this number of it so let me write down so it will check if it is possible to ship all weights in d days with mid as max capacity so this function will do this see what is our capacity our answer our capacity is the maximum weight that can be that has been shipped so if and we are here we are taking that maximum weight that we can ship in a day is the mid and we will check if it is possible or not if it is possible then we will go towards the left and try to reduce the mid so yeah, this is how this code works and yeah in here in this is possible function that what we do so let's say let us take for this example itself and here let let me assume that for the given example uh, our mid let's say our mid is 20 for an uh, example let's say it is 20 so in in a first day what, what you what you how much weight you will uh, travel you will ship you will ship up to this because beyond this it is greater than 20 c this is 15 15 plus 6 it's 21 it's greater than 20 you can't ship that correct so yeah in the day two how much you will try to ship see in each day you we will try to ship as many weight as possible unless it is less than equal to this maximum weight or the mid right unless it is less than mid we will try to ship so in the second day we will try to ship the 7 plus 6 so that's 13 in the third day we will try to ship 8 plus 9 uh, that is 17 and the fourth day only 10 so here we saw that yeah by using mid as 20 we can get our answer and how we have we calculated this we uh, we uh, put all the weight into the current weight until it uh, until it is less than equal to maximum weight if it is greater than maximum weight then we increase our days the total days required to d plus plus and we opt uh, and we change current weight to this w so this is simple uh, simple logic there is nothing complex here and yeah and what is this dd is total number of days that are required and these are if it is less than equal to maximum days that we have then we return true see in this case we ship all this weight in four days so four is less than equal to what five so it is so it is a valid answer so yeah, then we return true now now once you get 20 then as you can see here we are moving towards the left high equal to mid minus one so let's say now instead of 20 uh, you got something uh, like this you got let's say 12 okay for an example just take that we have made as a 12 uh, and yeah and you have five days now you will try so here from one to four you can shape this in the day one got it because after this uh, I means till here the total weight is what four plus three seven plus two eight nine plus one ten till here it is ten and if you try to take this five then it is not possible it will go beyond 12 okay yeah correct so this will be possible in the day one in the second day can you take six and five yeah you can take six and five both because total is 11 that is less than equal to 12 now in the third day you can you can only take seven the fourth day only eight only nine only ten so here how many days are possible one two three four five six is six is less than equal to total is no then in that case we return false and whenever we return false then we will try what to we will try to move towards the right again we will try to increase our low so yeah by doing this binary search by checking for 20 then 12 then we would sometimes some point we will check for 15 as well is 15 as a mid is if it if that is possible as our answer 
So in that case, yeah, we will get our answer. Then we will try to check for 14. Is 14 possible? No. Then the best possible answer is 15. Yeah, right. Got it. So yeah, this is how this binary search will works. And it is very much efficient than the DP approach because uh, of the time and space complexity. So yeah, I hope you guys understood the equation, uh, uh, the logic as well as the coding part here. Now talking about the complexity, it is the time complexity as I have already discussed is big of n log n. And the space complexity here is uh, big of uh, a big of one here because we are not storing anything. This is simple variables here. All this only the variables we meet is the variable. And also in this above function, we are not storing anything. Uh, so yeah, the space complexity is big of one. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys understood everything. And if you have any doubts yet, then do let me in the comment section. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.